behave one, so I found this in the thrift store, and I'm so happy I did. I finally owned Titanstein. It was on Discovery Kids long ago. Oh, so much nostalgia. I remember watching um, many shows on Discovery Kids. Um, the Time Warp Trio, Kenny the Shark, Grown Up Creepy. Um, what else? What else? What else is there? Um, Trading Places Boys vs. Girls. That one was a fun show. Uh, it basically taught like young ch boys and young girls how to do construction work. Basically, they swap places. A girl, girls are gonna do make a male's bedroom, and the boys are gonna make um a girl's bedroom. And basically, they're gonna show the bedroom to the yeah each other and see if they like it. And some of the rooms they made were beautiful. They are and is beautiful. <clears throat> Time Warp she Trio. Um, a kid finds a magic book and is able to go through time and space, meeting all kinds of um, famous people throughout space and time. And so on and so forth. Grown Up Creepy. Um, it's about a girl who was raised by bugs. The show does teach you about bugs. Yeah, you show information about certain types of bugs, this and that. It was a good show. <clears throat> uh, Kenny the Shark. A girl named Cat wants a pet shark. Um, so Kenny left the ocean and was in a pet store. He's basically her pet shark. Chaos ensues. And then we have Tuttenstein. <clears throat> So, our main character, Cleo, <clears throat> um, likes to hang around in a museum, and she takes a scepter was because it was in the wrong place, she put it properly, it got hit by a lightning bolt, and it hit King Tuonk and set a moon, and this brought him back to life. He's now a 3,000-year-old, 3,010-year-old mummy. Um, we got Lex, who is Tut's assistant. Well, we incarnated. Assistant. Um, let's see. Oh, Discovery Kids. I remember that logo. <sighs> it used to be Discovery Kids. Then it became The Hub with My Little Pony, Dan Dresses, and other shows. And then it became Discovery Family. Uh, I remember watching the show when I was in middle school. I am so, so glad the show got a proper ending. All right, unfortunately, this only comes out four episodes. That's it. I would like to find the full season on Titan Sign <sighs> and find the Titan Sign movie. But yeah, um,. All right, T. Um, Cleo catastrophe. Oh yeah, that's the episode where Touch swaps minds of Cleo and the cat. Cleo and her cat. So Touch is basically a spoiled brat, but I want to say he's total spoiled. I mean, he was king, so he has a bit of an ego. He has done some cool, nice stuff too. And I did learn a lot about Egyptian culture from the show, so that's cool. I highly do recommend the show. It's fun. Uh, I also get to know, you also get to learn about the gods and goddesses, Egyptian gods and goddesses. Ties even fought Set multiple times. Yeah, this show kind of reminds you of attacking the power juju ish. Set wants to steal Tut. Staffer was so he can take over the world. Uh, 
Um, so Todd's basically trying to adjust to, like, world of what's going on. Cleo's showing him, like, stuff like, um... Stuff that happened in 2007. They hang out. They have fun. Tut learns lessons not to be selfish. <clears throat> and mead. Or mean. A cool. It is an amazing show that I highly do recommend. Oh, another best part of the show. Um. Now, oh, fuck. What was his name? No, it wasn't Ben Weddy. That's yeah. They often make mis misspell his last name. Uh, the museum, the Heady Museum, the one who um, yeah, the Heady Museum. Take a wild guess who voices him. <sighs> he wants revenge on that Bandicoot. Yeah, it's um. Dr. Neil Cortex from Crash Bandicoot, It's About Time. I'm actually surprised. Like, yeah, it's the same character. Uh, the Heady Museum is um, voiced by... Um, huh. Yeah, Dr. Neil Cortex. Same one who voiced Dr. Neil Cortex. I did not know that until I rewatched the show. And then I realized his voice sounds familiar. I mean, that's actually kind of cool. I'm glad he's... I'm so glad that guy's getting work. He's probably going to be voicing Cortex from the future whenever they make a Crash 5. Uh, but yeah, um... God, this show brings back so much memories. And I'll to find the other Tunstein DVDs. I'm going to take a guess and say that I didn't make a uh, box, complete box set. I have to find the volumes. How much you got to find each DVD? Oh, fun. I hope everyone has a wonderful day. Um, what other shows do Discovery Kids have? The only shows I watched was Titan Sign, Growing Up Creepy, Training Places Boys vs. Girls. Time Up Trio, and I think that's about it. That's the only shows I remember, honestly. Hi, um, I'm pretty sure none of you remember Discovery Kids. You probably know Discovery Family. Maybe you might know The Hub. Not to, comp not to be confused with The Other Hub. Honestly, why do they name it The Hub? Because it's going to confuse people on... Yeah, whatever. No, I hope everyone has a wonderful, safe day. Bye.